Hey, I'm Dr. J. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a super fast but delicious butternut squash and apple soup. You're going to love it. It's all vegetarians and it's just going to be super light and you can have this in your freezer anytime. So this is definitely a weeknight meal for us. I have two 10 ounce bags of butternut squash right from the freezer going in. I love these little handy bags. I love to chop up things and just have them ready for me. So this is one half onion diced, again, right from the freezer. So you get home late, you can totally throw this in your Instant Pot and have dinner on the table in under 30 minutes. This is one apple just chopped up and it doesn't need to be any kind of size because it's all gonna get mushed up, my fancy cooking term, mushed up in the Instant Pot and I'm gonna blend it with my immersion blender anyways. So that's one apple. It's called an Envy apple, which they are so yummy, so delicious. They're sweet and crisp, but you do not wanna use, I wouldn't use a Granny Smith in this, okay? I have three cups of vegetable stock. Go on in. I'm not gonna use any cream or any fat in this, so this is super helpful. I have a half a tablespoon of ginger paste. I have a half a teaspoon of kosher salt a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and this is my secret ingredient. This is three quarters of a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. It's just that time of year, pumpkin everything, right? Okay, so going in, and the ginger just has that warm flavor as well. There's actually some ginger in the pumpkin pie spice, but we're just gonna enhance it. And one little tablespoon of honey going in, just to drive home that sweetness. All right. I'm gonna give it all just a little mix, that's it. And then literally, the cover's gonna go on. It's gonna take eight minutes from start to finish, and then we're gonna blend it all up and have soup. Okay, so we're just gonna high pressure for eight minutes, and then we're gonna quick release, and we're gonna have soup on the table. Okay, soup is almost done. We're just gonna do a quick release. Okay, so that pin is dropped. It means it's safe to open the top. I know you guys probably know this by now, but I'm in love with my Instant Pot. Something so quick, so simple. You could absolutely do this on the stove top. Just if you're doing that, I would give it a good half hour. Once everything comes up to a boil, put it down to a simmer, put the cover on top and let all those veggies and the apples get nice and soft, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is use my immersion blender. I'm just gonna blend this all up. So it's nice and creamy. <laughs> Smells so good. Our cats do not like this. But you know what? It's the easiest way to get a soup going. Okay, so the soup is done. I just blended it up using my immersion blender. If you don't have one of those, just do two batches in your regular blender and it'll be fine. Just make sure, put a nice towel over the top because you don't want that to explode be redecorating your kitchen no good so i'm going to give this a taste this would be perfect surface with like a, a grilled cheese you can make a panini i think oh my gosh some shredded gouda cheese maybe some thinly sliced pear yum right that sounds so good so i'm going to go in and give this a taste mm. oh my god that's amazing so all those fall flavors you have the pumpkin pie spice in there. You get that warm ginger. The apple just gives that like, hmm, what else is in there? The butternut squash, so good. And this is packed full of vitamins. No cream, it's low calorie. It's full of fiber, vitamins A's and C's. So you can feel good about serving this for yourself or your family. Also too, if you want, let this cool completely, put it in freezer containers and it's great for our weeknight meal. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I hope you make it for your friends and family. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. And don't forget to hit that bell. That way you know when our next video is coming out. Love y'all. Enjoy.